So now you can see right here we have a cut between the two shots. But instead of a cut, I want to show a little bit of passing of time. Let's, let's take a look at how we can do some basic transitions, like a cross dissolve. If we come over here to the timeline, and you see this button right here that's called Quick Transition. If we click on Quick Transition, it pops up a dialog box that asks us, hey, do we want to add a transition? So we're going to do, there's Dissolve. We can do a film dissolve, a film fade, fade to color. You should experiment with these different transitions so you can see what they look like. Notice the position of the transition. We can do it centered on the cut, which is what we want for right now. But we could also do the transition starting at the cut, ending, or we could do a custom transition. For right now, let's just do centered on the cut. And it kind of shows you a picture of it right here. So now we can do an add or an add and render, which I recommend you just do the add and render. And here we go. I'll go ahead and click on add and render. And you can see that it adds the transition and it renders it. There's the transition icon. You can see the little fade line through. So now when I click down here in the time code ruler with my cursor, I can kind of scrub through and we can take a look at the transition. I'll back up the playhead. I'll push play. And let's take a look at this basic cross dissolve showing the passing of time. So let's say for whatever reason if we wanted to remove this transition and we wanted to try a different transition I'm going to put the playhead right here somewhere near the transition or remember if I hold down command and click it puts the playhead right there on the transition and you come up here and you see this like say no or stop symbol that's called remove effect. So I'll click on the remove effect and you can see that now it has been removed. So the, the playhead or the position indicator is still on the cut. I'll go back and click on quick transition, which really just applies to these particular transitions. This time I'll do a uh, fade to color and we'll add this particular transition. We'll do an add and render. And by default, it's going to be black and you can see that it's almost like a a jump cut after this particular transition. So let's uh, let's edit the transition now. This is something new inside of Avid that we haven't talked about and this is our effects controls. So once again if the playhead or the position indicator is on or near the transition and we come over here and we click on what's called effect mode it's going to open up our effect editor and this is where we could actually choose a background color for the transition, if I click uh, here on this icon, like for example, if I want this to be a dip to white transition, and I can change the color here. We also have the level on this particular transition. And now when we come back and we scrub through, you can see that the transition color changes. So we're going to be talking about the effects controls and the effect mode quite a bit in the Avid throughout these uh, tutorial videos. So I'm just going to put the playhead of the position indicator back over the transition and I will click on the remove effect. Okay so that's uh, how we use like a basic dissolve inside of Avid. But what if we want to use different transitions? So we're going to go back to our effect mode again. Let's go ahead and just kind of have this window open. And then if we go over here to our actual project window, and let me just stretch this out a little bit so that you can see it better, notice the little magenta or purple icon. If we click on this icon, you can see this is where we access all of our different picture and audio effects for Avid Media Composer. So for example, you know, here's blend. Here are different types of transitions that we can use. There's the box wipe, different masks that we can use. Here's like a page peel transition. So if I want to use, say, a page peel transition for whatever reason, we'll select peel. Here's a bottom left-hand corner. I'll grab the effect. I'll drag and drop it onto the cut. And then when I scrub through here, you can see the page peel. Same thing again, if I want to modify this transition, we need to have our effect control or effect mode palette up. And you can see 
here is the particular transition. And some effects or transitions give you more options than others. But if I twirl down the border, you can see that we could soften the edge of the transition. There's the, you know, the width of the transition. We could uh, swap the sources. You know, this is where we can go in and we have more options with the transition. And we can also use what are called keyframes to animate changes over time. And we'll definitely have a special tutorial segment for keyframes. Okay, so I just want to make you aware that there are a lot more transitions inside of Avid and some of the transitions allow us to manipulate and change them. So I'm just going to close out of the effect editor. I'm going to go down here and just go ahead and remove the transition again. All right, so we'll come back in another chapter and we'll talk about keyframing and using effects with Avid Media Composer.